we're back with another one and this is a video comparison of the asus chromebook flip c100 and the toshiba chromebook 2. now the toshiba chromebook 2 got that 1080p screen and that might be what you're looking for and the asus chromebook flip has the ability to flip into a more tablet mode so two different styles of chromebooks which one can be your secondary device so quickly um looking at the build of both devices you can see they both have a a, a aluminum type look and but only one is actually aluminum the Toshiba Chromebook is actually a textured plastic feel and for for the person that wants grip for the person that might have this for a kid and scare the kid may drop their device you could definitely be assured that you're not gonna drop this it fits in it fits in the hand real good so as you open it up you're greeted by a fantastic 1080p screen now um, if you're a fan of a lot of pixels and you want the best of the best screen you're definitely gonna get it here with this Toshiba Chromebook now with the Asus it's cold to the touch this is straight up aluminum if there's plastic on here not much at all well built designed Chromebook it's awesome there is the per I'm starting to feel it's the perfect Chromebook to be along with my pixel so um, looking at both devices you can honestly tell which one has the better look and the better design and the better build definitely it goes to the Asus but don't take nothing away from the Toshiba Chromebook because it has its purpose as well for its build now I see what um, Toshiba was looking for they wanted to get a grippy build Chromebook they didn't want this to drop and be slippery and people complain that it's slippery they gave it some grip and I appreciate that and I understand that because you got to protect this beautiful 1080p screen now with the Asus you have a basically a I believe it's 1280 by 800 display so it's above 720p but not quite there but when you when you're looking at this it's hard for you to really feel that this is a low grade screen it's really not a bad screen at all yeah it's about an 800 res resolution but it's really not bad the pixel density is going to be pretty sharp watching videos ain't going to be bad for this size display so these displays we could say almost on par but when it comes to displays we got to give it to this Toshiba in this matchup so but the Asus for its size is really not bad now the Toshiba Chromebook uh, the keyboard um, to be straight up the keyboard feels kind of mushy it feels a little cheap it doesn't feel like it's well done it 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 just feels like a regular keyboard nothing to go crazy about now if you're the type of person you're searching for the best keyboards on the market this may not be for you the trackpad feels good has a little bit of feel to it which I like uh, nothing is not textured but it has a little bit of feel it's not exactly like a glass trackpad it's more plastic but it has a little bit of grip which I do like now if you're just tapping it it works great is very responsive but when you have to actually press down it feels kind of mushy as well so the trackpad I'll give it I'll give it a good rating but it's definitely not among the best in trackpads or definitely keyboard now with the Asus this feels like a glass trackpad it has a little bit of texture to it but it's definitely much smoother than the Toshiba's but it honestly feels very good um, tapping on it is really nice the click the click is more substantial than the Toshiba definitely it's a well made trackpad 
it's one of the it's not it's definitely one of the best that I've felt, but it's not amongst the best that I've felt. So it's somewhere I would say if the Toshiba is like a 10, I would say the Asus is like a five when it comes and, and don't not saying it's bad, just saying I felt better, but it's definitely better than the Toshiba's. I really like this trackpad. It's definitely on point. Now the feel of this Chromebook and the keyboard. Just working on it, it doesn't feel like you're crammed. It doesn't feel like you don't have enough space. And the keyboard feels rich. It just feels like this is not a $230 uh, laptop. It feels like you're playing with something that's among seven, $800. That's the way it feels because it's so well made. So when it comes to the keyboard and the trackpad, I got to give it to the Asus Flip. It's definitely on point. And as I play a little bit more with the trackpad, I'll probably have a, a, a better feel of it and can give you a better result. So it is definitely a nice trackpad. Don't get me wrong when I said it's like a five. It's not my all time best but it's definitely up there and it's definitely better than the Toshiba. So I definitely have a problem with the Toshiba's trackpad. So processors, this is rocking the rock chip processor. And yeah, the numbers, we know what the numbers that if you see my high sense or the hair and you're going to know the type of speed that this is giving you, not that impressive. But when you couple this, with four gigs of RAM, you have a well-abled Chromebook right here. Now with the Toshiba, we're, we're going with the fifth gen Intel Celeron with four gigs of RAM. This is flying. There's no issues with this. They probably will never be issues with this as far as the way I do my work and most people. So you're safe here with the processor and of course with the four gigs of RAM, but you're definitely not in a bad situation with this rock chip and four gigs of RAM. So if this definitely going to be your secondary device, you're fine. If this is going to be a device that you're not looking to do anything really heavy, you're fine. Now, when it comes to gaming, the four gigs of RAM and the way everything feels should be fine because it's every, the trackpad and the keyboard is very responsive. So playing games should be fine on this. Now, all right, so let's get into the sound. So let's start with the Chromebook Flip. So that's medium. I'm gonna turn it up. It's about 75. Now, the speaker is, is coming from the bottom, and I'll show you that. Turn it up all the way. But for the price, for what you're getting, it's not a bad... It, it might be not the best place to put speakers at the bottom where you could muffle it if you have it on your lap, but sounds good. The quality is there, the sound is there, not bad when it comes to the speaker department. Now, the Toshiba Chromebook, now these speakers are coming out through the keyboard, so you're going to get more, it's about halfway. A hundred percent. All right. Now, in pure, pure volume, you're getting more from the Toshiba, and it makes sense. It's a bigger one. It's coming out through the keyboard. Um, it's a more expensive Chromebook. It, you know, so. The sound is there and it makes sense for the sound to be there. But you're listening. 
let's uh just a tad bit lower it to about 75 or so sounds pretty good now let's change it up a little bit I would say when it comes to the volume yeah we give it to Toshiba the quality of the sound I would say it's almost a wash, but maybe because it's lower, it sounds a little better. For some reason, the quality may sound a tad bit better on the Asus. But they're pretty much almost even. So we'll give, when it comes to the speakers, the, it's louder on the Toshiba, but the quality of the sound, we we'll give it a wash. All right, quick sample of some video. right over here as well a squirrel eating a cupcake yeah that's exactly what it is a squirrel eating a cupcake now um coming down to it bottom line you're gonna get more color representation on the Toshiba um the 1080p just grabs in more than this uh 1280 by 800 um, but you don't have a bad screen here, but when it comes to the screen, man, you can't go wrong with, with this Toshiba. The nits, it gets brighter than the Asus. The Asus is not going to get as bright. And if you lower the brightness, it's really dim. So I could imagine anyone who's using this, they're going to keep this at full brightness because I'm thinking about it right now and I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to keep it almost to full brightness all the time. You know, um, now, you know, using it a little longer because I kept it on full brightness while I was using it. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now. So when it comes to the screen, a hundred percent, we got to give it to the Toshiba. So if depending on what you're looking for it for, this is the best Chromebook that you can get for a secondary device that is real small and portable that does everything and it has a little a little niche it's touchscreen you know hold on how you do that yeah touchscreen so you could drag things over and so forth and you could definitely minimize and you, you can do different things so the touchscreen element is a plus over the Toshiba because it's not touchscreen. So you got some advantages and some disadvantages. The keyboard and the trackpad is a little bit of a disadvantage, but not by much. But it, this is a absolute plus on this device. So when it comes to these two Chromebooks, with and the both of them are HD cameras to a certain point, but I think the Toshiba might be a little bit better when it comes to the camera but they're both they're both pretty good they're very usable cameras but i give it to the toshiba it's a little bit better um when it comes to battery life and i'm going to end it off with that battery life 10 times over yeah definitely with the toshiba the toshiba is going to give you that guaranteed nine hours you're not going to get that nine hours here on moderate use you'll probably get about six to maybe seven uh, I would say about seven to be fair seven hours of battery life so pretty much guys this is the comparison between these two Chromebooks if you're looking for a main heavy house computer you're gonna go with the Toshiba if you're looking for a nice small backup which I'm looking for you're probably gonna go with the Asus so with that guys they're around the same price 230 260 so it's like $30, $40 in difference. Uh, actually, it's like $30 in difference. So just take your pick. You want something more flexible, touchscreen.
can use it in a more of a tablet mode or you want something like more traditional big heavy house computer this is what you're going to get so with that guys um uh, i would say in this comparison you got to choose who's the winner because for me for for my backup uses i'll go with the asus if i didn't need a backup and i was looking for my main main chromebook and i had to pick between these two i would probably pick the toshiba but since i already have a main chromebook i go with the asus so with that see you guys in the next one